What's up, motherfuckers? Dirty Drew, Thanksgiving special 2015. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. I know I did. It was quiet. It was peaceful. Um, we're going to do some different things. As always, we have a cocktail for you. It's a great martini. I'll tell you about it in a second. Um, first thing we want to do is what we always do, parental advisory. You know, we swear, shit, fuck, every bad word you, you could think of, we say it here because that's what happens in a real kitchen. So, and then the music we're going to be playing during tonight's special is Arlo Guthrie's uh, Alice's Restaurant. It's a Thanksgiving Day story that he tells. That's what you hear in the background. Thank you, Arlo Guthrie, for the great song. Okay, as always, to make your love you more, my cookbook, get you laid every time. All right, check it out. AmazonBarnesandNoble.com because they're not going to put me in the store. You know why. All right. Cheers. Um, Thanksgiving Day. Great feast, but you always have leftovers. And if one more motherfucker says to me, Oh yeah, you know what, I want a turkey sandwich the day after Thanksgiving with mayonnaise and cranberry. Moldy, oldy shit. I'm going to show you something different. What do we do? We eat healthy, we cook healthy as much as we can in Dirty Drew's Kitchen. So, what I'm going to do for you, get your muffin pans out. If you don't have a muffin pan, get a small bread pan or even a cupcake pan. Muffins. We're going to make these special muffins for you with leftover turkey. We're going to chop it up in the bowl. Sweet potatoes, we're going to chop it up in the bowl. And some eggs. We're going to mix that in there. Some raw oats. Okay. We're going to top off these muffins with some fresh cracked nuts. Not these. These. This says cinnamon on it, but it's cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice which is you get apple pie spice when you mix them all together. We're going to throw some dried cranberries over the top. And um, while the food's cooking and we're drinking, check out this cocktail. It's called a pumpkin spice martini. I'm not a bartender, so I had to Google. 50 of them came up. The one we chose was Kahlua. Pumpkin spice liqueur. Turn them around, they're not paying us, remember. Butterscotch schnapps. Vodka, you can tell what it is by the color. And we're going to top it off really special with some graham crackers and maybe some of the apple pie spice. Okay. And um, when we come back, we're still going to be drinking beers. Um, also, we're going to give you a little bit of uh, Dirty Chews, Dirty Chews, Dirty Chews. See, we're already drinking. Dirty Chews homemade apple pie shine, stove top method. That's not what's cooking in here. We're having some soup because it's fucking cold outside. So we're going to do a couple shots of these while we're working. We're going to drink some of that. Um, and we're going to get to the uh, martini. This is one of the few shows where I'm more excited about the drink than I am the food. But as far as the food goes, you're going to need a bowl. Chop up your leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. Peel your sweet potatoes. I'm going to show you as we go along, as they're going in the bowl. And just like you would do uh, a meatloaf, basic rule of thumb for meatloaf and meatballs. What is it? One egg per pound of meat or whatever you're, you're doing. So it may be two, three, four eggs. I like to throw an extra egg for fluffiness. Holds everything together. Um, dried oats. That's also going to keep your stuff together. Keep it together, man. It's going to stay together with this stuff. We're going to sprinkle some of that over the top. Fresh nuts sprinkled over the top. Dried cranberries sprinkled over the top. And when I come back, we're going to start putting it all together. So, happy Thanksgiving. Pilgrims, Indians, everybody. Let's sprinkle it over the top. <laughs> Don't question me, Pilgrims. <laughs> We're back, Pilgrims and Indians, living in peaceful and harmony. Here's the bowl that I told you about. Turkey. Um, this is a turkey breast from a turkey. You know, we're just gonna cut the stuff up. 
want to cut it up small because when it goes into, you know, the muffin pan, the muffin man, you know the muffin man. Um, when it goes in there, you want it small, kind of like that can of tuna fish texture. So um, it's gonna look really uniform, not like you got it from the local bakery. But you're gonna have some small chunks, you know, some big chunks, and, and uh, we're gonna put that together. When, when I come back, um, I should be done. You, can, you get the idea of dicing up the turkey. I'm gonna continue dicing up the turkey and get it into the bowl. And uh, when I come back, um, we're gonna get to the sweet potatoes peeling and putting them in, mashing all that together. And, and we're gonna slowly put together our uh, Thanksgiving leftover muffins. You can make, you know, I have a muffin pan that holds six muffins. So I make them on a Sunday night. You can take one to work every day for breakfast in the office, on the road, whatever you do for a living, you can take it, wrap it in plastic, you know, sandwich baggy. Um, they'll stay for a week, a week and a half, I'm sure, in the refrigerator. So um, these muffins, you're going to really like these muffins. High protein with the turkey, right? Because we're doing it healthy. Sweet potatoes, a good carb. The lesser of, of, of all the evil carbs is the sweet potato. If you're on a low-carb diet, you can have that because a sweet potato will give you energy uh, and it won't give you those heavy carbs like, you know, a Yukon gold potato or a white potato will do to you or even white rice or even brown rice. Sweet potato is really the, the, the health person's good carbohydrate that you want. So I'm going to continue cutting the turkey and um, be good little boys and girls and Indians and pilgrims and we'll be back. All right, we're back. As I told you, we're gonna dice up the turkey. You see that, Rocket Rich? Okay, we're gonna dice up the turkey. That's the first part of, of, of our uh, muffin. Now we're gonna, you know, just we're gonna peel sweet potatoes. You know how to peel sweet potatoes. I really don't, you know, gotta bore you with that. Yeah, you just peel them. You just <laughs> peel them, they're already cooked. They're left over from Thanksgiving dinner, as is the turkey. We're gonna go in here. Um, I'm going to continue to work on these with my moist, mushy hands. Um, I guess I could uh, give my uh, give my sign to uh, Rock and Rich the camera bitch um, uh, with with sweet potato on my fingers. Don't question me, sweet potato eating motherfuckers. I was just talking to Rich and, and telling him about this stuff, and and he agreed with me that. Not only is this good for breakfast, but I mean this is good for lunch, good for snack time because you have turkey in here, so you got a meat, you got sweet potatoes, you know, you, you got your, your good starch in it. Um, as far as vegetables, you know, you don't need any, but uh, you, unless you're sitting down for like a three, three four course meal. But um, I'm working my way down on these um, sweet potatoes. Just being all Neanderthal meathead about it. What do you do with the skins? With the skins. I warm them up, I chop them up, I warm them up, and they go mixed in with my dog's food. Um, because, you know, dogs get leftovers, and my dog gets the leftover of kings. But, um, we'll be back to show you what goes on next. Thanks, pilgrims. Pilgrims and Indians, check it out. Turkey, sweet potatoes, in the bowl. Next, you know, you got to have a feel, you know, even if you're, you know, new in the kitchen, you got to have a feel for what you got. I think I got about two pounds in here. So, like I said, with the meatballs uh, rule and the meatloaf rule, you go one egg per pound, okay? Um, I like eggs. I should be putting three in there. I'm going to put one in there for good luck. I like my eggs, so, um, yes, that's about right. I got four eggs in there because I got about three, three, maybe a little over three pounds. So um, we're going to mix it all, mash it all up. Um, like I said, if you're a little too thin, you're going to add dry oats. Okay, you're going to add dry oats like this. We're still going to sprinkle some over the top. 
because it looks really cool when you get a muffin with dry oats over the top. If I need more, I'll put more dry oats in there. I'm going to show you what this looks like in a second before I mash it up. Let's not forget this apple pie spice, apple pie spice, cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice. Mix your own in a bowl like I do. You know, do it from scratch. When you spe spend all this money on a, on a container, cinnamon's cheap, nutmeg's cheap, allspice is cheap. When you buy them together as an apple pie spice, you know, they, they get you at the grocery store. So you mix up your own like I do. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, like this. Two tablespoons. I like to lay it on thick. Spice is good. It's not spicy. Okay. We're going to get into the rest of the stuff when uh, we put it back in the pan. So uh, for now, I'm going to mash this all up. It doesn't hurt to soften everything up with a little milk. You know, Dirty Jew and Rock and Rich, we're, we're, we're health nuts. I have this unsweetened. I love milk. We love milk. Right from the tap. Creamy and delicious. Soy and lactose free. Almond ca vanilla almond cashew blend. So just a few drops, quarter cup, maybe half a cup in your shit. Like this, okay? Like I said, if it gets too watery for you, what are you gonna do? You're gonna add more dry oats. You're thicken it up. Alright? I'm gonna mash, I'm gonna mix all this stuff up together, and uh, when I come back, we're gonna get ready to uh, to put our uh, put it in the muffin pans. The oven's already at 350. You're gonna go 350, 45 minutes to an hour. Um, we use olive oil. It's you know it's the healthiest of what we have. So I'm gonna spray this pan down in a minute when we get ready to put it in. I'm gonna get my spoon ready. When I come back, we're gonna be ready to go and put this stuff in the oven. Peace, love, and pilgrimage. Mixing it up. I took the hat off because uh, <laughs> my hat is uh, pieces are falling off, but we grabbed them before we uh, we baked them. And and this this seems to be a little bit a little bit watery for a muffin batter. So I'm gonna add uh, another handful of that uh, when I wash my hands and. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna we're gonna put together our um, the topping to the muffin. Oh, it's gonna be a pretty topping. So here it is. Come right back, pilgrims. Okay, we're back. This seems to be a little watery for the batter. So what did I say we're gonna do? Dry oats will soak it up. And again, I've said in one of my uh, one of my shows from last year that dry oats for all you healthy people takes the place of flour. Anytime you want to thicken something up. You use dry oats instead of flour. Anytime you want to make pancakes from scratch, you use dry oats instead of flour. Keep you strong for a lot of years. So, um, when we come back, we're going to start putting the toppings on, and we'll be right back, pilgrims. All right, pilgrims and Indians, we're back. Cranberries to sprinkle over the top in a minute. Uh, maybe oats. Just a pinch on the top for looks. Um, and we want to put some walnuts across the top. Um, I love my nutcracker on my bow. So an easy way to do it is to take the nuts in both your hands. Walnut, walnuts only, they work, okay? Put them in your hand. Put them like this, right? You hit yourself hard enough in the head, they'll crack. So I'm going to crack the rest of these up off the, off the side of my head. Chop them up real small to be sprinkled over the top, and we'll be right back, pilgrims. <laughs> We're back. Dirty Jew's Kitchen. Season 2, episode whatever, Thanksgiving special 2015. Now look, I put the dry oats in here a few minutes ago, mm. and they're already thickening it up. You don't have to cook the oats. What we did here, we smashed up the... Um, the walnuts on the side of our heads, and I, if I don't drink enough, I'm going to have a headache regardless. Uh, dried cranberries are going to go on the top. We're going to put a little pinch of dried oats on the top for show. This is one of those homemade uh, spray things. I put olive oil in there, extra virgin. We love when they're extra virgin. Um, you know, give it a little spray, a good healthy spray. That's non-aerosol, huh? Yes, it's perfect. Yeah, that's awesome. Give it a good healthy spray. And it's okay if you get some around the top, you know. Give it a good healthy spray. I, olive oil can't hurt you. Olive oil will never hurt you. Sweet potatoes will never hurt you as a carbohydrate. 
It's a good carb. It's good olive oil. It's good flavor. Olive oil is good. So nice, healthy amounts so of yeah. any stickage. I made up a new word. Stickage. Pilgrimage. Okay. Stickage. Pilgrimage. Stickage. <laughs> We're gonna. I'm gonna probably uh, shoot the top of these with a little more spray after. <laughs> We get done. So, this is the top. Here we go. Home stretch for prepping the food. But, um, Rich, can you see? I can see. Spoon. All right, get your hands in there, get them dirty. This is not going to blow up like a cupcake, it's a muffin. Uh, I've never made these before. We wing things here. That's the whole joy of, you know, the reality of Dirty Drew's Kitchen. Okay. This is everything we put together. I think I'm going to put a healthy amount. It's not going to double in size like a like a Duncan Hines, uh, you know, a cupcake cake batter. Will they rise at all? They're going to rise a little bit. These are going to be heavy muffins. They're going to rise a little bit because of the egg that we put in there. Mm -hmm. uh, and a very very little rise from the um, from the uh, dried oats. Um, but they're going to rise a little bit. Um, I like to fill them up at least three quarters full. They're not, it's not cake batter, so it's not going to go, you know, and it's all over your oven. I mean, my oven's pre preheated right now at 350. I got a half a sheet, a cookie sheet underneath, just in case everything flows, anything flows over the top. So, it prevents this burning is our on the bottom batch. too, wouldn't it? <laughs> What's that? Did it prevent from burning too? Yeah, it'll prevent from burning the bottom. That's my hand real quick. Uh, you can see where we're at. Right here, we're in here. These are going to be like big, heavy gut bombs. They're not going to be air fluffy, but they're going to be nice, heavy muffins where one muffin is going to fill you up. Okay, across the top. Put a couple of cranberries. You know, it's a festive thing. Across the top, we're going to lay some cranberries across the top. We're going to stop to have some beer. Cheers, Rich. You know, cranberries across the top, like this. This is where we're going to make these muffins real pretty. Are they gut bombs? Yeah, they're gut bombs. What are they? They're going to be pretty gut bombs. Um, so, we got these here. All right. Just a little pinch of this for show. These are your dried oats for show. Because every good diamond shop, we won't mention any names that aren't paying us yet. But pretty they look here. Now here's the walnuts we cracked over our head. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm. the music stopped, but we're gonna keep going. Alice's restaurant. Accepting Alice, you can get <laughs> anything you want. All right. So let's recap before this hits the oven, and we get to these drinks that um, you know Rock and Rich and I've been drooling about the last half an hour. Ready? Sweet potatoes, apple pie spice, turkey, eggs, dried oats in the muffin pan. Dried oats to sprinkle on the top for look. Cranberries for flavor and for look because the cranberries go, we're not idiots, right? You're not, I'm not. Cranberries go with sweet potatoes and turkey, but it's in your muffin now and the egg to keep it together and give it a little fluff to it. We already sprayed it down, but I'm going to give another little spray to the top so that nothing on the top burns. And that's it. It's going in the oven at 350. It's ready to go. When we come back, when we come back, there it is, on top of another pan in the oven, set for 350. Um, your potato skin leftovers, mix them in your dog food. Dogs love it. Um, when we come back, we're going to um, start making drinks for you while the muffins are cooking. So, pilgrims, Indians, boys and girls, rock and rich, Ooh. everybody, we'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Shout outs. DDK shout outs. Before we, uh, before we forget about it, DDK shout outs. Adam, sure. oh, and here's sure. what we have. Shut up, dog. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to thank Alan Barbosa Tattoos for my ink. Um, keep your eyes out. Rising star. Um, Billy Carney for the hat. Years ago he gave it to me in this condition. Uh, Matt Chance 
retired ex-pro wrestler from New Jersey. He's now in Connecticut. And as always, Rock and Rich the Camera Bitch behind the camera Woo! doing it all for of us. Doing it all for us. Morning, noon, and night. I want to thank, uh, of course, Chili's Restaurant for the shaker. Um, they donated it. Um, they don't know they donated it, but they did. So um, let's move on to uh, the drink. But before we move on to the drink, we're still trying to get primed to get in this, this festive mood because Thanksgiving is over. And um, this is Dirty Drew's homemade um, apple pie moonshine stovetop method. So, we're going to do a shot before we sign off and come back and make the real drinks for you. The uh, Rocket Rich. Yo. Apple pie shine. A shot Hell for yeah. You. All right. Here's to all you guys. Oops. Hope you had a health, healthy, safe Thanksgiving 2015. Um, don't kick your tripods. <laughs> uh, cheers, <laughs> salute, nasrovia, everything. Thank you. All right, pilgrims and Indians, we're getting ready for that drink that we've so been waiting for. Oh, all night. yeah. Right now, we're mashing up some just regular graham crackers. Mashing them up. I'm going to mash them up real good. Smash them up with whatever you got. Mash them. Um, I'm using my bare hands, but I'm going to have to get something to mash them with. Probably like a full can of Budweiser or something. Yeah. When we come back, we're going to put it together. And I apologize that I am not a bartender. I am a chef. I'm going to have to read... I have everything I need, but I have to read the right amounts. I mean, you know, it's one shot, one shot, one shot, two shots, one shot. No big deal. But when we come back, have your graham crackers all set to go. Put a couple of graham crackers on the side for garnish. So uh, we'll be right back. Like it. <laughs> My favorite part, Rock and Richie, favorite part. Check, check on the muffins. They're rising. They're rising. Bit. Nine years muffin, <laughs> muffins rising. Not Phoenix rising. <laughs> muffins rising. Uh, like I said, I'm saving the leftover uh, skins. You're going to fry them? Heat them up a little bit with some olive oil. Olive oil is good for your dog's coat. The fur makes a nice shiny fur coat. Olive oil is good for that. You know, because we love dogs. You know, if you're a dog lover, you get laid. If you buy Dirty Juice uh, cookbook, make her love you more, and use it for your girl, you get laid. Now, mm -hmm. back to the glasses. I want to go back, um, I don't usually forget people, but I don't remember if I said um, in the shout outs, thank you to uh, Carol Carocha Suarez of Hollywood, California, for we these you, wonderful Carol. glasses. She gave me a set before she moved away to Hollywood. Carol's thank the you best. very much. You rock. <laughs> love you, Carol Carocha. All right, let's get to this drink, the Pumpkin Spice Martini, one of easily 50 I found online. Um, I don't want to really water it down too much, so I'll put a few ice cubes in there. As I'm reading, because I have to, I'm a chef, not, not a... All right, starting at the top, vanilla vodka. Write this down. Get you, I'll, I'll wait for you to get... I'll give you some time to get your pencils and papers. Okay, time's up. All right. Uh, vanilla vodka. It says a half of a of a um, of a portion, but we love vodka here. We love vodka, so we're gonna do a whole portion. Hell yeah! Vanilla vodka, double the portion. Get her drunk. Get Look laid. For her. Get laid. <laughs> double the portion of vodka. That's coming from me, not from the pumpkin spice recipe. Um, pumpkin spice liqueur. Any brand you want. Smells smells like pumpkin uh -huh. pie, man. Yeah. Um, that that's a um. We're going to go by the recipe on all the rest of this stuff. We only doubled the vodka because uh, we want to double our chances of getting laid. So, there. Vodka, pumpkin spice. We go over to, going down the line, Kahlua. It's a brand name. We don't say brand names, but there's only one, there's only one Kahlua. Kahlua is, is... Unless Billy makes it. Unless Billy makes it. <laughs> Kahlua is a half a portion. So we're going to do a half of this shot glass of Kahlua. Um, we didn't double it up because it doesn't have the uh, the effect that, that vodka does. Okay, butterscotch schnapps or butter shots, whatever you want to call it. That also gets a half a portion. Measure with your shot glass. I'm not a bartender. Um, 
you know, my girl Mary Beth is a bartender. Hey, man! She would know how to tell Hembe! Um, half and half? I'm not buying half and half. I have this in my fridge. Try to use what you have in your house. Italian sweet cream, coffee creamer, it gets a half a portion. Where a portion is a full shot glass. So there it is. Okay, now, get ready. Shake it up. Here it comes. Everything in, there? Everything in there. What else do we have? We have our mashed up graham cracker crumbs, our apple pie spice. We're gonna we're gonna vary the recipe and do it ourselves. Okay, this is what we have. Creative freedom. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving. All right. Look at it. Yeah. Right. Look at it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say wait for it. Look at it. Nice and cold because the vodka's in the freezer. Everything else is in the refrigerator. It's sweet. It's gonna be really, really sweet. Um, the recipe, what I told you, is as is. We double the vodka, doubles your chance of you know what. So here it comes. Uh, mm -hmm. I might have to give the full one to Rock and Richie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rocket Richie gets the phone. We're going to fill this up when we go on a break in a minute, but um, I'm going to make a full one and give it to Rocket Richie. He is the hardest working cameraman <laughs> in the business. So here we go. This is where we at, where we're at, where we at, where we're at right now. Okay. What I like to do is your apple pie spice. Just a little dab. Okay. Rich, I'm going to bring that in for you in a I'm minute. I'm going to zoom so, right in on that. Okay. All right. Graham cracker crumbs. Mm -hmm. You got it. Look at that shit. You got oh, the graham cracker coming crumbs. Coming in on that. I'm gonna tell you right now. I mean, I'm, we we you know we we play by ear on this, but I'm gonna put everything on this, and I'm gonna put my apple pie spice on last next time, and just to top it off. Look at that. We're going to put a graham cracker crust oh. floating on the top. Rich, if you want to get in on that close, Hell yeah. check it out. I'll come right I in. am going to take a big sip of this, and then I'm going to pass it on to my hardest working employee, my only employee. <laughs> oh my God. If the food doesn't get you laid, this drink will. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll be back with the finished product in a little while when it comes out of the oven. Thank you. Pilgrims. Pilgrims. Rich drink that <laughs> Alright, we're getting ready for plate up eating time. What's like, up? Like we always like to do. Um, Salud. You see that there or do you want it on the mm -hmm. table? Actually, it probably be here. So. I'm better off here. Okay. This one's. A, get out of here, dog. Blueberries for garnish. We're coming back. Coming back. Alright. Beer cans falling over. That's alright. We drink them. Pumpkin spice martinis. This is what we have. You know, Rock and Rich has one. Mm -hmm. I have one. We're probably gonna eat a few more. Is mine? That's yours. That's mine. So, shut, shut up, dog. <laughs> shut up, dog. So what we're doing is um, here's our final plate. This is your go, go, go. go. Fucking bite somebody. Don't fucking bite, kill somebody. <laughs> so our, this is our final plate. Here. This is what it looks like. I threw some blueberries on there. Shut up, I'm filming. I threw some blueberries on there. See how? Bitch is listening to me. See how? I threw some blueberries on there. This one's kind of falling apart a little bit. Might have been a little too dry. Had more um, more of the dried oats than the rest of them. But this one here, look. Look at the texture. It's not falling apart. This is a gut bomb muffin gut with bomb. turkey. <laughs> With apple pie spice, cinnamon, mm. nutmeg, all space. With an egg to hold it together. <laughs> with nuts cracked off my head. With <laughs> dried cranberries yeah. and oats. And there's nothing bad on this plate. And Arlo Guthrie. And Arlo Guthrie in the background. <laughs> there was nothing bad on this plate. I promise you. There's nothing bad on this plate. I'm not going to promise nothing you that there's bad nothing in bad in here. Well, I'm not going to promise you that. Cheers, Richie. Let me get us a couple of forks. Mm. And, um, you know, you asked last season that you don't see us eating the food. We're going to eat this shit. Check it out. Oh, my God. Wow. 
Mm -hmm. Turkey, sweet potato, egg to hold it together. Protein, 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 sweet potato. You know, blueberries for garnish. Forget the blueberries. Dried cranberries. There's nothing in here that's going to hurt you. Mm. There's no carb that's going to, you know, make you have a big gut or a fat ass. This is what you want. This is your Thanksgiving leftover. This is good. You know, Thanksgiving's over. I got to go back to the gym. Thanksgiving's not over. And you can go back to the gym if you do something like this with your leftovers. So. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. With your pumpkin spice martini and full of graham crackers, like a thick milkshake now. Mm -hmm. Cheers, Dope. salute, brother. We're going to sign off, and we'll see you mm, in a couple weeks at Christmas time. Freaking good. Stay tuned for what we're going to do for you at Christmas, pilgrims. <laughs> pilgrims. We were supposed to put this on dishes. Let me put it on dishes. <laughs> So you can sit down and relax. You don't have to stand up and eat. That okay. was just for the camera. Good. Dirty Jews time. Mm -hmm. Turn to the camera. Uh. Watching. Don't never let it be said that I don't feed the help and get the help drinks. Look at this shit. This Good. is Rockin' Rich, the camera mm -hmm. bitch. He is your cameraman, Challenge. director, producer, editor. As you notice, this muffin is pretty much gone. That's because I liked it. It's a muffin. <laughs> <laughs> it's a muffin. Smashing pumpkins in the background. It's got turkey. It's got sweet potato. Mm -hmm. It's got berries. dried cranberries, blueberries for garnish. It's got dried oats in it. It's got eggs in it. And it's got walnuts in it. Walnuts are good for you, man. You know that. It's, it's a good oil. But um, but we, you know, we're gonna see you at Christmas time in a few weeks. Cheers, everyone.